Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Justin Dickmeyer from engineerandtrainingexam.com. And in today's quick tutorial, we're going to discuss the counting principle. So what is the counting principle? The counting principle will allow us to count the number of ways a task can occur given a series of events. So basically, you are multiplying the number of possibilities each event within a task can occur. So let's say, suppose that you have a task, say task A, and let's say task A has K, a sequence of K choices. And let's say that N1 is the number of ways the first stage or event can occur, and N2 is the number of ways the second stage or event can occur following the first stage and continue, continuing on let's say NK is the number of ways the kth stage or event can occur after the first K minus 1 events or stages have occurred. So the total number of different ways that this certain task A can occur is simply N1 multiplied by N2 multiplied by all your stages multiplied by NK. So whatever this equals is the total number of possibilities of task A. So let's illustrate this using a quick example. So let's say that we walk up to a restaurant and we see that they have a special that includes a sandwich, a soup, a dessert, and a drink. So we, we can have a sandwich, which comes also with a soup. We get a dessert, and we can get a drink. So let's say that we walk up to the counter and we can ch we first choose our sandwich so that's the first stage and we can choose from a chicken turkey tuna or roast beef sandwich after this we can choose our soup which can be tomato clam chowder or vegetable after we choose our soup we can choose our dessert which can be say ice cream or pie and finally we uh, right before we sit down we can choose our drink which is tea coffee soda diet soda or milk so the question here is how many possible specials? So how many ways or how many possible specials um, are there? So there's four stages in one, in two, in three, in four. So the total possible ways uh, is going to be N1 times N2 times N3 times N4. So let's define each stage and their poss possibilities. So let's say at stage one we have, we can choose our sandwich. And like I said, we can choose from a chicken, turkey, tuna, or roast beef. So there's four possibilities at stage one. When we go and choose our soup, we can choose from tomato, clam chowder, or vegetable. So that's three possibilities at stage two. At stage three, we can choose from ice cream or pie. So that's two possibilities. And finally, we can choose our drink at stage four, which uh, is tea, coffee, soda, diet soda, or milk, which is five possibilities. So determine to to, de to determine the number of possible specials, we multiply N1 times N2 times N3 times N4, which is simply 4 times 3 times 2 times 5, and that equals 120. So the number of possible specials, given, our, given the number of stages, and given the circumstances that we've defined, there's 120 possible specials that can be chosen. So that's it. 
in a nutshell, it's it's not really all that difficult. All we do is uh, define our task. Uh, we define the stages within our task, and then we define the number of possibilities per each stage within that task. And then we finally, to finish it off, we just multiply the number of possibilities for each stage to get our overall possibilities for the entire task. So that's it. Um, I hope this shined a little light and uh, helped you guys refresh a little bit on the counting principle. If you guys need any further uh, direction or guidance for the engineer and training exam, don't hesitate to visit my site at engineerandtrainingexam.com and I'll be happy to help you guys and guide you as uh, best that I can. So that's it for now. Take care and uh, and be good. Bye.